Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to write fractions that represent the shaded part of a shape. We will go through some examples together, and then we will end with some practice problems. Let's jump right into our examples, starting with number one. So what fraction of this shape is shaded? Let's start with the bottom number of the fraction, the denominator. That's going to be the total number of equal parts a whole has been divided into. So how many equal parts has the whole square been divided into? One, two, three, four. And that's our denominator, so four. Now we need the top number, the numerator. That's going to be the number of equal parts that are shaded out of the whole. So one, two, three. That's our numerator. So we can see that three out of four parts are shaded. Our fraction is three over four, which we say three fourths. Let's move on to number two, and we will start with the denominator. So how many total equal parts has the whole been divided into? Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have a denominator of eight here. Now for the numerator, how many equal parts have been shaded? One, two, three, four, five, six. So our numerator is six. We have six out of eight parts shaded. Our fraction is six over eight, which we say six eighths. Moving on to number three, let's start with the denominator again. So how many total equal parts has this whole rectangle been divided into? One, two, three. So three is our denominator. Now we need the numerator. So how many equal parts are shaded? One, two. So two is our numerator. Two out of three parts are shaded. Our fraction, two over three, which we say two thirds. Moving on to number four, let's start with the denominator. So how many total equal parts has the whole been divided into? One, two, three, four, five, six. So six is our denominator. Now we need the numerator. So how many equal parts are shaded? One. So one is our numerator. One out of six parts are shaded. So our fraction, one over six, which we say one sixth. Next, for number five, let's see how many total equal parts the whole has been divided into. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So 10 is our denominator. And as far as the numerator, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven equal parts shaded in. So our numerator is seven. Seven out of 10 parts are shaded. So our fraction is seven over 10, which we say seven tenths. And then lastly, for number six, Let's see how many total equal parts our whole has been divided into. We have one, two, three, four, five. So five is our denominator. Now for the numerator, so how many equal parts are shaded? One, two. So two is our numerator. Two out of five parts are shaded, so our fraction is two over five, which we say two fifths. So now that we've gone through some examples together, it's time for you to try some practice problems on your own. So have paper and a pencil ready. Here are your practice problems. What fraction of each shape is shaded? I'll give you two minutes and then we will go over the answers. Go ahead and start.
Okay, so that's two minutes. Let's take a look at the answers. For number one, we have one half. For number two, seven tenths. Number three, six sevenths. Number four, three eighths. Number five, two thirds. And lastly, number six, four ninths. So there you have it. There's how to write fractions that represent the shaded part of a shape. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.